matrix multiplication in Wolfram Alpha. You tell Wolfram Alpha that you're giving it a matrix by putting the entire matrix within curly brackets. Here, here's a matrix already on the screen. Each individual row of the matrix is itself grouped in curly brackets. So I'm just going to pick this one. So there's a matrix. Let's say I want to multiply it by another matrix. Well, uh, this second matrix, our, our matrix already input has three rows, three columns. So since this first matrix has three columns, our next one has to start off with three rows. But let's make it a three by two instead. Uh, so I've made a square a curly bracket to start the matrix, and now I'm starting the first row. And I'll just make two entries, and then the second row, and then the third row. So I've got a, a three by three matrix times a three by two matrix. Should give me a three by two matrix as a result, and there it is. So that is matrix multiplication in Wolfram Alpha. matrix multiplication in Maple, which is available on campus computers. In this left-hand column are little bitty menus where you can pick out templates of expressions, where you can pick out some fancy calculus symbols. One of the options is to build a matrix, and it's fairly self-explanatory. You're going to select how many rows and columns. So let's build, hey, let's have fun. Let's build a two by four matrix and click choose. Oh, sorry. <laughs> click cho choose is different. Choose means you're going to dra draw out your matrix with a diagram like by clicking and dragging on the, di the diagram. My mistake. Uh, I'm going to, having built a two by four uh, choice, I'm going to insert the matrix. And so there's my spots ready to go. Uh, I am going to uh, just, I'll just number these through. Entry one, two, three, four. Let's do do zero and some negatives. Negative two, negative three, negative four. And hit enter. And now that matrix is registered. I want to multiply this by a second. Now this has two rows, four columns. So my next matrix has to have four rows. Now let's make this four rows and two columns. And then you know that a two by four times a four by two should produce a two by two. So I'm just going to make up some numbers here. And there's our second matrix. So now I have my two matrices input. In Maple, matrix multiplication is represented by a period, not an asterisk. Now, here's how we can reference these matrices. There's actually two ways to do it. I've built these matrices without giving them names, and so I can't reference them by name, but I can reference them by line number, line numbers one and two. You ask for a line number reference by hitting Control L. And it's going to ask you, well, what line number would you like to reference? We want line number one to represent this. And there's that line number over there. Now. I put period for matrix multiplication and then control L again because now I want to multiply by equation number two. And so I've built line one times line two with the times being an actual period because we're doing matrix multiplication and there is the resulting two by two matrix. Here's the other way to name matrices. I can come up here and I can give them names. You assign names to things in Maple with a colon equals. So let's just say I want this one to be named capital A for matrix A. I'm going to do A colon equals and there. And then for the second one, I'm going to do B colon equals. And then here, instead of line one times line, ugh, instead of line one times line two, I'm going to put A times period B and I get the same result back. So either way. Matrix multiplication in Excel. This is an Excel file cleverly called Excel Matrix Mult. I'm going to have this in Blackboard 
next to this video because I recommend that you actually open up this file so that you can look at the formula building that's going on. Matrix multiplication in Excel uses a command called mmult for matrix multiplication. Here's how it works. I've just typed in, in this first example, I've typed in four entries. This is now a two by two matrix. And I've typed in two other entries. It's a two by two matrix. Now, in order to make matrix multiplication work in Excel, you have to know the size of the result. You have to pick a space for it and you have to drag out that particular size. So I would have dragged out, say, that particular zone. And then with that area highlighted, this will be my landing spot for my result. I will have typed in this command, which is at the top of the screen, mmult. And then the first entry is the corners of the first matrix and the second entries are the corners by cell referencing of the second matrix. And once I execute that command, then the numbers here are filled in with the result from that matrix multiplication. And if I double click on an entry, you can see it highlight for me the two matrices that went together with the mmult command to produce that. Yeah, yeah. Down here, I've got a one by two matrix. I have a two by two matrix. So now I know that the result of that should be another one by two matrix. So I've made space for it down here. I would have highlighted this, entered an mmult command. It's in brackets. You have to, it's probably best again to open up this Excel file so you can see, you can see the details of this mmult command or heck, just Google it, right? Um, but again, if I double click, anywhere in that zone where I made the landing spot for the matrix product, I can see it anchoring to the original matrices. Uh, down here, here's an example of taking a matrix and raising it to higher powers, which might be something you need to do for one of those Markov chain examples. So let's say this is a transition matrix um, and it's two by two. I've squared it here and then I've cubed it here and I've raised it to the fourth. And the way I'm raising it to the fourth is say, the matrix being produced here comes from the squared version times the original that makes it cubed. The matrix, say over here in the fifth, comes from uh, the matrix to the fourth that's already been created times the original matrix, which altogether makes the fifth. So I'm not able with the mmult command the way I've built it here to leap directly from the matrix to its fifth power, I have to go through the intermediates to get there. Maybe you can find a better way to work with the mmult command, but I don't do matrix multiplication in Excel. So <laughs> this is as good as it gets for my advice on how to do it.